Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Sugar Style. I'm your host, Gat, yeah, and what is that voice? What am I doing? Anyway, welcome back to Sugar Style. Last time, you know, our homeboy was like, I'm feeling a little bit useless. I don't have a job or anything to help out at the house. In the dorms, I mean. So I'm like, hmm, what should I do? And homeboy decided to, you know, do some security. You know, helping around, make the girls feel more secure. Like if they go out at night, you know, go out there and be like, hey, I'll pick you up because I got a car or making sure the doors are locked and stuff like that. So today we're going to do anti-theft me me yeah, measures. So without further ado, let us continue. It's been one hour since my claim that I'll help out. With dinner in my belly, I decide it's time to get up, get to work right away. Can't just talk and talk, gotta walk the walk. The last thing I want is to give them the idea I don't make good on my promises. So, how do I go about protecting everyone? For my first day, I'll just check the locks. Caldo usually does it before bed, but I have a feeling she only does it if she feels like it. Given my promise, I have to take every precaution now. Do I though? Yeah. Mm hmm? Alright. I finished my circuit around the building. Next is the bath and the cafeteria. I bathed last night so I could just lock up when I'm there. No. Eh. I, I bathed last to tonight so I could just lock up when I'm there. Ah! Oh? I returned to the cafeteria to find Mal watching TV. It's a documentary about police who enforce multi misdemeanor laws. Mal, what's wrong? Your brow's rather furrowed today. I'm just scared of a cat burglars. Why? Okay, there is a lot more to be scared of, like a murderer or you know, someone that who will torture you or something. Anything than a cat burglar. Are you kidding me, man? I'm gonna tell you all you gotta do to protect yourself from cat burglar. I'll tell you this. Lock your doors and windows. Like, seriously, you do not know how easy it is for, to be a cat burglar. Literally, they just do... Like, not all of them have lock picks or anything. All they gotta do is turn your knob and that's it. Check your windows. Um, and if they do decide, be like, maybe they find out you're rich or something. They're like, you know, duh, duh, whatever, duh. You know, even if I do get caught... The, the risk, no, the reward is worth the risk. You know what I mean? Like, you're like a millionaire or something. Not a millionaire, but you know what I mean? Like, you know what you can do? Have a bat. Because most of the time, they're not going to have a weapon. Why? Why, you know, have a knife on you when you can have more pocket space to fill with jewelry and, you know what I mean? Have a bat. Have something. And you don't even need to... You'd be like, hey, what's going on down there? And it's like, boop, 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 boop. You know what I mean? Or be like, I called the cops already. You better leave, fucker. You know what I mean? There's so many things you can do. Cat burglars are bitches. Cat burglars, eh? They're like the least threatening criminals. Exactly. But they're breaking through windows. There's no way to defend yourself against that. Lock the windows. Not so fast. There's actually security glass now, so it's not too bad. What security glass? So, you know how if you hit normal glass with a hammer, it shatters? Obviously. So, this is going to sound crazy, but security glass only cracks instead of breaking. Cracking is pretty much breaking, though. Perhaps, but criminals can't get through a window that's only been cracked. Anyway, security glass makes it... Much harder for, much harder for people to sneak in somewhere than normal glass. Wow, the tricks are pretty great. But it must be expensive, right? Oh, absolutely, it's very expensive. But the story doesn't end there. There's also they also make a film version. I make a quick search on my phone and show Mal the product page. Incredibly, you put this film over your ordinary glass window, you get the same results as security glass. And the film is much cheaper. Ooh, I never knew there was something so perfect for us. That's amazing. You know, maybe you're not a bad guy after all. 
wait, why are you saying nice things about me? The security glass film is what you should be admiring. Anyway, we can buy the security window film if you want. Yeah, let's, let's. What did they say? I guess the hardware store? If we hurry, they might still be open. Let's take out his car. Wanna come with me? Sure. Why are you getting security glass? Don't get me wrong, it's good. Don't get me wrong, it sounds really good. But, like I told you, lock your windows. Most of the time, criminals are idiots. They can't be idiots. Yeah, they're idiots. You wanna know why? I met t a ton of morons who are criminals. Like, all you gotta do, lock your windows. Like, literally, lock your windows. But what if it's hot? Have a fan then. If you're concerned, or open your window if you're really concerned. You know what I mean? If you're not that concerned, that's what I mean. Literally, open window is open season. Cause it's easy. This is boop, jump right in through the window. Lock your doors because all they gotta do is turn. What, you think they're gonna have lock picks? Why? They, all they could do is turn one door, nothing. Go to the next house, turn another door, nothing. And process of elimination, like maybe one out of 10 people might have their door unlocked. So yeah, lock your doors. We rush over and buy the film. There were two other kinds apart from the shattery proof kind. But for now, we chose the most standard one at the hardware store. So they cut this part off and put it on the lock? No way. If you're going to if you're going to if you're going to only put it on one part of the window, then there's no point. Why? Why? Think about it. If the criminal smashes the part of the part with no film on it, that's that's it for the window. Oh! Hmm. I, I knew that! No, you didn't. Don't even lie. What's with this prideful kitten act? Well, let's split up and put these on the fi put the film on. I got a knack for applying film, so if it looks hard, just call me. Okay! How hard is it? You're just putting film. Sorry. Uh, like, I might be saying that because I know how to do it, but... It's just film. Just... Ooh, window. That's it. We nearly finished all of it with only one film remaining. Did you get the one in your room? Yep. What do we do with this one then? Oh, I just remember it. There's a random panel of glass sitting out in the shed. Wanna test out the film? Heck yeah, I do! We find a sheet of glass and spread the film on it. Then Mal holds a hammer up. Do it, Mal. Yeah. The glass sets out an oddly dull crack as it cracks in a co cobweb pattern. It is really that exciting? Security glass film is so cool! <clears throat> it's like the guardian spirit of the sunshine dorm! Okay, chill out, Mal. It's just protective film. How dare you! You know this film would literally shatter to bits before it lets, lets us get hurt! How dare you try to rob it of its rightful place as our guardian spirit! It's just a security window film. Easy at night. Good for you, Mal. It is! Thus, I complete my first day as a, the dorm security guy. Who knew that a single sheet of film could soothe the girls so much? I hereby swear that I will only take the safety of all these girls into account from now on. Yeah, right. <laughs> do, 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 do. Sugar style. Sugar style. Sugar style. Phew. Today, I asked the girl's permission to bathe first. I scrubbed myself from head to toe before sinking down far enough to submerge my soldiers. My soldiers. Soldiers, really. Even I, the guy who groans about this dorm being a shabby shack, shack, when I first saw it, was speechless when I found the bath. Its sheer size rivals even the facilities in the public bathhouse. Sorry, Kira. Even if you don't count the girls, my dorm probably kicks your dorm's butt when it comes to the bath situation. I get Itsuka's home-cooked meals every day, and I get to lounge in this huge bath every night. When I was doubtful, 
I was doubtful at first, but now that I'm taking a broader look at it, I got it really lucky here. All that's left is, of course, if I could get a girlfriend, things would be perfect. But life is not so simple. I'm a little worried about my reputation with the girls of the dorm. Do any of them like me? Like, do any of them like me? Like me? Like, like me? Maybe I should try to figure out. Stop worrying so much. You're naked, but everyone, but so is everyone else. Uh. But it's so embarrassing. No, don't tell me you're hiding. No way, no way, no way. This can't be happening. Why are they coming in right now? No. Why? Just be like, Occupado! Occupado! How how hard does that say? Like, someone's in here! Someone's in here! Ah! You know what I mean? There's so many things you can say. So many things you can do. This is like the worst one. I grab a nearby wash bowl and dive into the tub. This is really bad. I have to hide under the sting, but gets enough of my face out so I can breathe. Otherwise, I'll die in the tub bathtub. How the fuck? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Where is it? Where is it? Where? Today, I asked the girl's permissions to bathe first. <laughs> Come on. Kaname, you got to snake. Really? <laughs> Kaname, you got such nice breasts. Do they even, do they exist breasts that are nice? You're so lucky. You're a classic beauty and sexy to the boot. Most girls would say you're cheating at life. Is that so? I remember to, I'll make sure to remember that. And such composure too. My envy is turning into rage fast. Holy cow, it's ghost, yours pretty big too. Give me a little feel of those. No, no, no. No touching. I know it's just us girls here, but please behave. Uh, they touch each other. Hold on. Someone confirm. Comment down below. Is that true? Do you, like, when you touch your girl, like your friend's um, boobs? Let, let, let me know. Like, what the? F Hold on. How are you just gonna say that while you're reaching for mine? God bless Steam. The blessed Steam. The Steam from the bath is camouflaging me. How cliched is this? Am I in a romantic comedy? Jeez, Itzka, what tits, what those tits, your boy, your future boyfriend's gonna be so spoiled. What's that supposed to mean? Dude, it's four in the morning. What am I reading? What's that supposed to mean? Sorry, Itzka, but I think I have to side with Mal here. So, which one of us would be spoiled by her boyfriend? Hmm. I bet on Mal. No, Itzka, that's impossible. What a frivolous assertion to make. Kusunoki. Yes. You seem like the type who wants your boyfriend to be spoiled to spoil you. What? what? Where do you get that idea? Just like that feeling. Are you serious? So unaware of my presence, the four of them com com <laughs> commence a bizarre round of girl talk. <laughs> oh shit! My heart rate has gone through the roof. Each skin hair's tits are ginormous. And Mel, you got nothing to be ashamed of there. Have some confidence. And for, as for Kaname, I'm on board with the whole prince, princess of beauty thing now. Is this even legal? I can't take my eyes off Kaname's tits. He's staring. I thought he's hiding in the bath. He's staring. Oh my god, this, this is not going to end well. <sighs> okay. I'm bracing myself. <sighs> Is this even legal? I can't take my eyes con <laughs> can't take my eyes off Kaname's tits. Ah, uh, they see me. They see me. You know they see me. Hey, hey, everyone! Mind if I ask a question? What is it? Remember that promise he made in the cafeteria? I honestly kind of want to support him a little. What do you all think? Itsuka. You ain't crushing on him, are you? No, nope, don't think so. 
you could at least at least consider it. What about you, Mel? What? Support him? Eh. If he actually helps out, I guess I could think about it. Ouch. Watch and see what they what I can do, Squirt. I'll have you groveling at my feet while you sing my praises. I'm with you. I guess I'm with you, Itsuka. We're all living in the same dorm, so it's like we all we we're all in this together, you know? We're all in this together. <laughs> How do I feel about it? I guess. I'd like us to be good enough friends so we can have a casual sh chat. Thank you. Thank you so much, Hair. You can't let your guard with the, eh, You can't let your guard down with that guy, Hair. The moment you let it, let him uh, let him <laughs> let up on him, he'll peep on you changing clothes or something. <laughs> Come on, really? Sorry, Mal. The bar has been has already been raised. Are you kidding me? Uh, if he's going to put the effort, I won't shut him down. I'd imagine that being the only boy here comes with its shares of difficulties. Right. That's what I'm get thinking too. You act so bumbling and funny. Fun, but it must be hard to keep that keeping that off. I think we should try to be more considerate of him. For sure. I'll see what I can do. If I have to, I guess. That's what we've been doing from day one. Oh, thank you everyone. And so ends the day in which I made my decision. Are they not going to catch him? Like, I don't want to catch him because I literally don't want to read, like, read it. I don't want to, like, oh, what are you doing in here? I don't have water. I don't want to do it. I don't want to risk my voice. But at the same time, I kind of want to see him get caught. I do. It's weird. It's like, I don't want to, but I want to at the same time, you know? Here, I was assuming that they hated me, or at least thought I was some kind of a creep or whatever. Now, armed with the knowledge they're willing to meet me halfway, I feel like I'm set up to live a nice life here. Not if they find you. Ah, phew, ah, they're finally gone. That was close. I'm seriously lightheaded. It's all I can do. It's all I can do just to stand up. Oh! <gasps> <gasps> All right, let's see what. Yeah, go ahead. I gotta grab my shampoo. Shut up! I was here first. I was here first. Um. Um. What are you doing here? No, nothing in particular. I um. I suppose you were in here the entire time. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> try doing it. Try, try, try screaming with a dry throat. Are you kidding me? Uh, why I had to get the cliche ending too? Even after we so painstakingly planned out bath times, yeah, another horrible uh, accident occurred. Mercifully, the girls were found found to be fault for not checking beforehand. And I was not blamed. They didn't give me nearly enough time. Do girls think that man's, men's bath always wrapped up in 10 minutes or less? If that's so, they're mistaken. I know, right? Like, bruh. Well, only here where I have my shower, right? I like to take like, well, not half an hour, but like 15 minutes. Like a shower, like 15 minutes. And I think if I was bathing, I'll take more. It's because I like the hot water. Like, I don't know, man. You ever, like, because it's more colder now? Like, take a hot shower at a cold night. It just, mmm, kisses you a little bit, you know? Then after, when you turn off the water and you're, get, you're hit with that cold air off your, like, steaming body, it's like, ooh, ooh, you know? Do girls think that men's baths always wrap up in 10 minutes or less? If so, they're mistaken. That's only like if I need to take a shower in the morning, like really fast. Other than that, like I, I take my time, okay? Don't don't judge me. Whoever out there, don't judge me like, uh, you 
You take so long taking a shower? Yeah, 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 motherfucker, I do. Kind of me. Sorry, I'm freaking out a little bit. <laughs> I'm freaking out. Class ends without incident, so I'm off on a sol solitary, relaxed walk to the cable car station. Today, I didn't bother going to a different field. Instead of spending time with the guys in musical musical composition, I still haven't gotten used to the software. So even just laying down a rhythm track is a Hercule Herculean task. That said, the fact that I'm learning new stuff every day feels super rewarding. Really? Oh, come on. Stop screaming. I have no water. See you tomorrow. It'll be dark soon, so be careful out there. Hey, that, there's Kaname. Her expression is as cool as ever, as she walks with the posture of a model. Every girl she passes turns to greet her. Where is it? <laughs> ah! For you, Suki! Get away today! <laughs> and a pleasure day to you! A pleasant day? Do real people actually say that? I thought that was only in fiction. Maybe she's doing it to look good, but she's totally pulling it off. Eee! <laughs> ah. is so perfect. I bet my life she's she's huge in a she lives in a huge mansion. For sure. I bet her bed even even has a canopy. Nope. She sleeps on a futon in a dirty dorm. She's popular as hell, though. The girls are all giggling at each other like they just met a celebrity. Kaname is a pretty classy woman, for sure. So I can see how she'll win all the girls' admiration. But how did she get to be so popular this fast? Oh? Uh -huh. We just locked eyes, so I wait for a good time to approach. A pleasant day to you, Fuyusuki. She glares at me a moment before turning away wordlessly. Then she starts walking away. Hold it right there, little missy. Uh -huh. uh, pleasant day to you. Can you drop that already? Uh -huh. After narrowing her eyes di disagreeably, dis disagreeably, disagreeably, Kaname walks in a direction away from home. Where are you going? Sir, stopping by somewhere. Stopping by, eh? Is he off to look for some cute plushie like before? Uh huh? Kanami suddenly stops dead in her tracks and glares at me again. Do you like desserts? Yeah, I do. I see. Tip tap. Uh, hold up. Mm -hmm. You can't just ask that question and then walk away. That was where you were supposed to ask if I would like to share a parfait with you or something. What is a parfait? And my god, it sounds cool. Hold on, what is a parfait? What the fuck? Dude, I'm gonna tweet that. What is a parfait? Mm -hmm. I like matcha. Huh? Mm -hmm. Uh. A pleasant day to you. Wait! Kaname sighs in frustration before moving a leaflet folded to a quarter of its original size from a small pocket of her bag. L just look at her, it's so adorable. She's like, the fuck do you want? Dude, if a girl gave me this look, right? I don't know why. It's just like, the fuck do you want? It's like, oh, oh yeah. You're, you're probably like, what the fuck? But it's like, no, 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 no. Not like in a disgust way. But like, I don't know, man. I see... I see a lot of like Latinos like when I used to go to school, mostly cholas, when to be like, the fuck do you want? You know what I mean? And I like I'll see them, I'm like, dude, that's hot. <laughs> that's hot. Look! What's this? The leaflet the leaflet has a coupon for a restaurant's seasonal menu attached to it. They're doing some sort of dessert special, flattering a huge picture of a matcha ice cream on their ad. Interesting. Also, who reads the newspaper? 
So you're off to eat some matcha ice cream all by your lonesome? Yeah, all by my lonesome. Uh, Kanami puts her hand on to her cheek, to her chin, looking thoughtful. You seem bored. Sounds tasty. What do you think you are? What do you think you are? Were you not inviting me? Were you not inviting me? Make up your mind, girl. You're cute, but there's so much your cuteness can, you know. There's, there's so much I can put up with your shit, okay? In the past, I would always go with my mother. Mm hmm. Hmm. Darn shame. Anyway, see you later. Ah! Oh! She yanks hard on my collar, causing me to almost choke like a, no, to croak like a toad. I didn't notice until you pointed out, but indeed, it does take some, uh, uh, measure of courage to go on dinner on one's, lo one's own. No, it is not. Just do it. That it does. So, um. Mm hmm? Uh, a pleasant day to you. I don't mind going. I can go. It's almost kind of cute how strongly she resists coming out and asking me. Oh, Trilly, if you want to come, you may, I suppose. You're really insistent on pretending I forced myself on you, huh? Hmm? It's not exactly fun to be told to just come along just because you happen to be near someone. So I'll get back at her by teasing her a little. Why not just ask one of your millions of friends you... When you get there, you're so popular after all. They come in hordes if you just ask. I'm fine with anyone, even you, really. Mm hmm. Well, I don't have much to do today, but I really have to get home and bid some, bid some anime, you know? I'll treat you to a parfait, okay? That just, that's, uh, that's just desperation. If she wants it so bad, so bad, I guess I'll go. I, I guess. Fine, I'll go. I'll give you the clothes off my back if I have to. Hm. Keep your clothes on, please. Seemingly a little relieved, Kaname slings her bag back onto her shoulders. It is a bit baffling that she was so desperate for me to come, though. I'm just going to throw this out there. You got a bunch of hangers on, but no friends, right? <laughs> Her face doesn't betray much, but I can tell that from the way she steps away that I'm right on the money. I have friends! Such as... <laughs> she points at me. Am I your friend now? Well, we seem to have similar hobbies. Wait, really? Come to think of it. I guess she did really, she did say something about not having any friends to talk about anime with. Guess she recognized me as a fellow otaku friend or something. It ends at six. Oh, the dessert thing. Yes, let's hurry. I, I'd rather she gave me a friendly smile or something to accompany the request, but whatever. I don't know about you, but that's hot. That's hot. Like that kind of bean look a little bit that she had right there. Like... Like, ah, you know what I mean? I can't do it, but you, you know what I'm talking about. I, I'll take it. it. It's pretty sexy, you know? I don't know what it is. When a girl is like, <sighs> when she looks at me, I'm like, ooh, a little bit, you know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. I like the sweet girls too, like Hinata from Naruto, but like a little bit like, ooh, you could, like Hinata, whenever she gets mad, I'm like, ooh, ooh, you know what I mean? A nice girl who can... You know, be a little bit mean. Ooh, take me. Take me. Kaname gets into the cable car and quickly secures a two-seater for us. Gracefully placing her bag in her lap. She pats the seat next to her. Come on. Yes. Yes. Come on. Oh, okay. The car is pretty empty, so I don't see any reason for us to sit this close together, but fine. I was just scooching right here. It's a little nerve-wracking to sit so close to a girl. Uh, Kaname doesn't care in the slightest, of course. Instead, playing with her phone very intently. Okay, so we are friends, right? Yes! If you have any complaints, direct them to me! 
Why are you so belligerent? Isn't that surprising that I don't have friends? Ah, my throat. Every time I'm like, how 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 long can I keep this for? Twenty minutes. Twenty more minutes, please. I'm sure you can make a ton if you just wanted to. Why not try? <laughs> she stops fussing with her phone, frozen. And after a moment, she looks up. Because people like you are rare. Huh? Am I that much of an uh, otaku? I get proper. I get a proper haircut. And I think I pay a reasonable amount of attention to my appearance. That's not what I meant. Oh? <gasps> Do you love me? Hold on. I hardly ever find people I find easy to talk to like you. Huh? What does that mean? She's always talking to people. I tilt my head in confusion. Prompting an exasperated sigh from her. Everyone treats me like some sort of solitaire princess. Oh, yeah, I can see that. Like the girls from before were chatting about Kaname's demeanor alone makes her seem like some sort of nobility. When we first met, I figured she was some rich guy's daughter. But, uh, Fuzzy, Fuzzy Suki, you're lovely. I wish I could be like you. It's a giant pain in the ass. Hell of a thing to say with that smile. Really, I'm astounded that you're so popular not even a week into school. She might have a special talent for attracting people. I feel you though. It definitely sounds stifling. To be honest, I'd rather be able to talk to other people. No, I like to be able to talk to other people at the Sunshine Dorm so more easily too, but it's just... They're too careful around me. I notice her shivering in fear even. Huh? It's terrible treatment. Whenever the circumstances, even I find it hurtful. Uh, but you're totally to blame for that too. What was that? What was that? <laughs> Why, pray tell. That was ridiculously aggressive. See, you did it just now. And that's a terrifying look on your face. You should smile more. Smile? I'm always smiling. Like even right now. What? Does she think that's a smile? You just ha got a low-key, unapproachable aura. So before you even know it, you miss your chance to gain a friend. Wait, was my father just now not approachable enough? You seriously didn't know? She may have deep insights into others, but have zero. But she has zero self-awareness. True, true. Just like me. I'm trying to get better at it. Literally, I had zero self-awareness of myself. I used to say stuff like, you mean, uh, how do I say this? Like, I used to make jokes, <laughs> make, make uh, just a bunch of suicidal jokes that people were concerned for me. I don't do it anymore, but I used to just make suicidal jokes. Uh, or like, I'll just ask questions like, we'll be on the third floor of the school, right? And I'll be like, huh? What if I just open this window and just jump out of here? What will happen to me? You know what I mean? I'll, I'll always say something stupid like that and they'll be like, the fuck is wrong with you? And I'm like, nothing. Come on. Why are you looking at me like that? Do I look that absur absurd to you? No, that's really not it. Go on, laugh. And that will satisfy the monster inside of you. i really rather you would laugh more. Okay, let's practice. Look in me and laugh. Uh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh. <laughs> this is worse than I expected. That's not a laugh. That's even scarier than the creepy little smile. Um, so, when are you going to laugh? Ah! Uh, I'll do it when time is right, okay? What the heck are you waiting for? Am I perhaps so, so, so silly inept? Mmm, in a way, I guess. When the person you're talking to doesn't seem genuine, 
it only it's natural to find them distant. It makes it hard to feel any kind of connection. This is a problem. Well, it's not the it's not the most sociable social creature. Eh. Well, I'm not the most social creature myself, so I say you you try not to worry about it. Don't you try to console me, please? No, no, I'm not doing that at all. Kaname shoots me a skeptical glance. Once upon a time, every girl in my class just hated me. Ah, I knew I had you figured out. What's that supposed to mean? I didn't steal any panties. No one said that until you did. You certainly are being first today. Personally, the only thing I need to be first in my life is just as my sushi. I can hear you. When we're bantering like this, Kaname comes off as fun person to be around, a friendly to boo, a funny to boo. It would be nice if she could make some more friends. So how come you were so un, so universally unpopular? Oh well, Kaname doesn't seem like the type to spread rumors, so I guess I'll, I can tell her. So back in middle school, suddenly a girl in my class told me that she liked me, but it wasn't a romantic. Like sort of thing. So what? You misunderstood her and thought she was your girlfriend? Yeah, that's exactly it. As a result of that, the other girl started really hating me. That's kind of cringe. Guess I was an idiot for expecting you to comfort me. Ah, are you okay? There, there. It's not your fault. I'm so sorry. Now she's trying to piss me off. You're all about rubbing salt in the wounds, aren't you? I can't help it. You look as delicious as a Amaraki salmon. I'd rather not be compared to dry fish. At the time, I was so overjoyed that I couldn't see the obvious. Anyway, neither of us ever clarified the relationship. I can't fault her since I'm to blame too. Hmm. You really are a rare specimen. Damn right! You never find a guy making cringy misunderstanding as much as me. Again, not what I meant. You see, your own shortcomings and you own them. People with too much pride aren't capable of that. Uh, no one ever said that to me before. There's definitely more to Kaname than meets the eye, or maybe just maybe, she seems a bit of herself in me. T t like that's like literally that's how I could see her laughing now like <laughs> I could never picture be like t never like that I all I can hear is <laughs> t <laughs> t no need to exp expose all of your embarrassing secrets now senpai thank me thanks for to consoling thanks to your consoling Mr. misunderstanding I feel a little better Indeed, you are worthy of being my friend. Condescending as ever, I see. Do you have a problem with that? Nope, not a single one. I'm actually delighted. Good. Her friend, huh? Well, I say that friends should be equal in most, in most of, all, or all cases. You must be popular with the guys too. Yes, for as long as I can remember, I've been popular with both boys and girls. Call me a woman gifted with both beauties and wit. Wow. I imagine saying that about myself. In fact, that's pretty damn mildly. I'm more than merely popular. I'm the most popularist. Yeah, that's not a word. Yeah, it's not a word because I had a hard time saying it too. But honestly, I can't. I can believe it. Someone seems envious. Who exactly? I can't... I can't even be certain that you're telling the truth. It is the truth, though. Every day in elementary school, there was one boy who who would lick my recorder. Like his life depended on it. Ew. Holy shit, that's awful. This was a child? <laughs> it's okay. I was clever, even as a child. I gave them a dummy. Huh? Like a decoy recorder. I realized... I was in some sort of a danger and bought a recorder of dubious origins on a secondhand shop. From a secondhand shop to leave in the classroom, taking my own home with me. Who knows just who he wasn't? 
Yeah. Who knew just who he was indirectly kissing so fervently? Years later, the question still tugs at me occasionally. The question still tugs at me? You're just as bad as he was. Only occasionally. It doesn't matter how you phrase it. Ah, uh, I had no idea you were such a weirdo. I must feel worse for the recorder licking weirdo. To think, to think you would fault me. All I did was leave it there. You know, when you just sit there silently, you look like such a beautiful girl. But your personality really leaves something to be desired. Mm. But I am really, but I am really unpopular. The most popularist. Uh-huh. Even as we speak, someone asked me out every three seconds. Uh, what the heck? The thing, they got the Cambodian children. You're not selling it with that line. Uh-huh. How can you attack me so viciously? Is there no decency left in the world? This has nothing to do with the world at large. Why? No buts allowed. Do you dare bring Ichigo's butt into this? Achoo! I'm sure Ichigo's sneezing right now. Sneezing now, thanks to you. Don't be absurd. Well, we shoot the shit. We eventually reach downtown. Kaname stands up without even warning me, leaving me rushing to get to get ready to exit. Poof. Guess that giggle was a delayed reaction to our argument. Parfaits, parfaits, parfaits. Unlike a parfait, matcha ice cream doesn't take long to be prepared. After we order, it comes out almost immediately. Hold, holding the bottom of the glass, I use a large spoon to bring it to my mouth. Do you know what, what this is? There is molasses-like stuff on top of the matcha ice cream, giving it a very Japanese flavor. Molasses, right? Comes from sugar canes. Yes, it's wasabon. I happen to love it. <sighs> That's so good. <laughs> my throat, man. <laughs> like... I don't, know, I don't know if you can hear it. It just sucks. It feels like something's tickling my throat. Like, every time I speak, it's like my voice box is like saying, Hey, stop it. Stop it with that. It's like the vibrations and the... It's just tickling my throat right now. Kaname joyously chomps down on her spoon of ice cream. The way her lips move is kind of sexy. Japanese desserts have pretty subtle taste. Making them the perfect match for tea. Hmm, yeah. Not bad at all. Since it's matcha ice cream, we're sort of having tea with tea. But I approve in this case. It's actually really good. Mmm. At moments like this, we must give utmost thanks to that we were born Japanese. Um, all right. Oh, kind of, kind of weird flex coming from an American. You know what I mean? Like I'm an American, so yeah, I hear this on the daily. But you know, for America, it's like, no, stop it, shut up. We're lucky to be in life, to be alive in general, to be human, even you know. If we were any other animal, we would die. Literally, some some human, some guy with a gun, like, oh shit, it's a deer, bam, dead. Kaname's eyes sparkle as she shovels more of it into her maw. It's kind of cute in a childish way. Mmm. The waiter brings over a couple of unexpected drinks and sits on, sits on, eh, sits on, eh, sets them on the table. Oh wait, I know what these are. One is black and the other is green. Probably a cola and melon soda. My mother will always tell me everything she knew about Wasaban. I didn't care one bit. But her smile was just adorable. You must have been one rotten child. But you two must be close, right? I suppose. So you like anime, right? Mm, yeah. I watch a ton of popular stuff. Not to say I know a lot about it, but I do think I have the most I have the popular shows covered. How about Legends of Dimensions? Sorry, haven't seen it. The market man and the tuna he fell in love with. That was a gag anime, right? Haven't seen that one either. Getting a full start of my love life. 
I didn't really like the art style. Bro, do you even watch? Bro, like, bro, do you even watch? I'm a pleb, okay? Try me on something easy, like Demon Slayer, which... Uh, maybe later today I'm gonna watch, um, you know, the season two, it's on Hulu. I, I wanna see how it is, man. Fuck it. Like, does it pick up from after the movie? Like, after Rengoku, you know... Lives. <laughs> spoilers, no spoilers, no spoilers. Ah! <laughs> Damn it. I, I gotta I gotta put spoilers ahead. <laughs> I'm a pleb, okay? Try me on an e on something easy. Ask punishment for not seeing her favorites. Kanami steals a bite of my matcha ice cream. Yet she doesn't buy into the whole indirect kiss thing. So, you secretly been dying to talk about anime, huh? If you came, I can enjoy a bunch of ice cream and talk about anime. You really got two birds with one stone there. Exactly. Until one of them got away. What? Oh, you mean like because I don't know any of your favorite anime. You only got one of those birds. It's horribly awkward when you go off explaining a joke. Then make them easier to understand. Her eyes. Just the fuck. So, so beautiful. Look at those eyes. Ah, uh, this is what I fell in love with. Ah, uh, look, look at me. I'm blushing now because I love her. You don't have any favorites that were more popular? Mm, Milk Way, Milky Way Love Story. Oh, Milky, Milky Love is great. I've seen it. Th that's a love story, if you can believe it. With heavily science fiction elements. It was popular about five years ago. A girl came from Mars to perform recon on Earth, but she falls in love with an Earthling boy. And she is a princess of Mars. Their marriage led to the end of a, of a celestial war. At least, I think that's how it went. Did you watch it as, as it aired? Yeah. I think it came around 1, one o'clock. 1.30 actually. I remember having it on the background while I worked. What work? you like Princess Leo Copin, right? Huh? Oh yeah, the main girl. Man, her animation were amazing. Mm, well, yes. I like her maid, Peach. Because she's tiny and cute, right? Oh god, you're into the little ones, aren't you? I knew it. Seriously, some of the conclusions there. Also, why did it sound like she already expected I was? Honestly, if an anime can't grab Grab your attention in the first episode, it's just a letdown. Monkey Love is superb in that regard. Kaname seems like the kind of person to memorize important scenes from beginning to end. Yeah, you mean when he's helping the princess despite knowing she's a Martian, right? Yes, you, you may not have noticed or cared, but their expressions as they run, a, run away, running away has a lot of detail put into them. Um, yeah, I never paid that close of attention. But what about in action shows? Where spectacular explanation in every move in minute detail. That's pretty exciting. I suppose. It, perhaps it, it, in those works, letting spectators explain the protagonist's incredible strength is more satisfying. Yeah, totally. When she says it like that, I get it. Back to Mucky Love. Which real character do you like? <laughs> well, you ought to know who. You're a man of culture. Okay, say it on three. One, two, three. Michael Jean. Seriously? Not even close. No, not freaking Jean. He died in episode two. For men, the moment of their departure, departure is key. I'd say to you, not freaking Michael. Say what? Without him, the MC would be dead. I get it. You just feel bad for him because he died. No, no. I made my decision based on my own values. He's a one-dimensional side character who dies in episode two. Mm -hmm. I'm 
invoking your privileges to discuss milky love? This absolute blockhead. Why are you tagging me over something we both like? That can only be the act of a lunatic. Not at all. It's because I love it that I must be disgusted by your taste. You know nothing at all, you amateur. You know nothing, John Snow. What? Don't get all uppity just because you're older than me. Our heated argument lasts well over an hour. Even the usual calm, cool, and collected economy shows some sign of some signs of anger in her voice. Our stamina are long gone. You plop down in our seat. You're not bad. Same to you. <sighs> Fine. We'll finish this another time. You bet your ass we will. I never thought this reserved woman could say so agit could stay so agitated for so long. Just how much does she love that anime? Hey! Yes? After this, can we stop at an anime shop where we're at? An anime shop? Why? As long as you're with me. It won't matter if someone sees me. They'll just think you're dragging me along. Is it just my lot in life to be a scapegoat? If you're scared of coming out of... Uh, <laughs> if you're scared of coming out of the otaku closet, just buy stuff online. Besides... What do you plan to do if if, it, if this makes people at school hate me? If that happens, I'll take care of it. Huh? Wait a sec. You mean you go out with me? I'll announce that you're my own, that I'm your owner, and that I'm rewarding to you to be <laughs> for being a loyal pet. That's just evil. Oh, for a little while, okay? I'd like to try looking around a store with a friend. A friend? She still avoids being straight with me. When short, she's lonely and wants some company. Uh, well, I don't really mind. <laughs> Thank you. I'm honestly excited. I never seen her look so happy, so I find myself infected with, with it a little. I'll tell you, Scoop, that we're going to be getting home late. Seeing as she's already cooking f cooked for us. Tell her I'll be late too. Okay. If she was always like this, she'd have tons of friends. Why don't you let our dormy see what you're really like? I mean, I'll think about it. How much more of this? Unsurprisingly, we explode into argument again while we were, were looking at anime merch. Today, I learned that Kaname is internally lonely, despite being constantly surrounded by people. It's the loneliness that comes with being at the top of the hierarchy, I suppose. I admit, I can't really identify it with her problem. But nonetheless, I find her very cute and even lovable watching her come to light, her come alive as she talks about her favorite things. Above all, though, I'm sticking by how awkward she is. <sighs> Alrighty. And uh, we're done. We're done. I can finally go, like, get some water. Like, I have, like, a, what is it? Like, the Brita shit, right? The, the one that's supposed to purify your water. I'm gonna go run that at the sink right now. I am thirsty. I've been thirsty for a while. All right. We are gonna end it there. We are gonna end it there. All right. If you liked today's episode, please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the bell notification to see whenever I post and leave a comment. All righty. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, it's 5 a.m. in the morning. I'm tired. I got Eddie. Okay. Alrighty. Well, this is Gat saying farewell. And as always, this is Gat saying farewell. And as always. <laughs>